there are reports in almost every country of some unexpected individual incidents of people really xenophobically and, and bigotedly attacking some individual Chinese people that they see. So this is part of human nature. This happens to people of all different kinds of, of ethnicities all over the world for different reasons. And no matter what, education and compassion and love are the answer to these kinds of problems. However, why toward the Chinese? Because again, the mainline Western media has been fomenting these attacks and cr creating the mindset in a lot of Western people who allow themselves to fall for this kind of ignorant and bigoted way of looking at people and targeting people. So they're to blame. They're responsible because they influence the societies in, in that sense. The Chinese government's response to the virus started off early with a local problem that was delayed a couple of weeks. In Wuhan, the local officials made a mistake. China is as equally upset about that as everyone openly talking about and reporting about that. The West then just focuses on that early local mistake instead of what immediately happened afterwards, which is this amazing, remarkable, unprecedentedly broad and aggressive response on the part of the Chinese government that in fact no other government in the world could have done to execute such a broad and aggressive response. And then this gets reported in the Western media as draconian control of the people. No, it's not draconian control of the people. It's extreme measures in the face of death and tragedy, not government conspiracy. And we're all working together to protect ourselves from a very nasty virus. And we're even, our actions are even Check the rest of the world. The international community's response to support China, in fact, has been wonderful. First of all, internationally, the response, the official response from America, from the government, they just announced, for example, an additional $100 million donation to help fight the virus. More importantly, here in China, us as foreigners, us as American people and American company, companies who've made China our home for decades, we have all pulled together locally here inside China and have raised over 204 million RMB in cash donations and an additional USD cash donations in millions and donations of all kinds of supplies and related equipment and supplies to help. 